Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, which means we're going to be using the Dragon Tarot because it's Aries Day, it's the day of Mars. Um, technically, it's also the day of Scorpio for me, so <laughs> Aries and Scorpio themes. And we're going to be using the Star Dragons Oracle cards to go ahead and get um, the first message, the theme, okay? So what is the, what's the theme for today's collective? What is the theme for today's collective? Effort. Conquering your demons. Oof, I love this art. It's so badass. Okay. So, there's like three different messages because the, um, the dragon represents a constellation, which is why... You know, it has a constellation there. And then the humanoid figure represents the brightest star in that constellation. Um, and so they each have a message. The herald has a message. The dragon has a message. And then there's an overall message, okay? So let's read. Number seven is effort, conquering your demons. Constellation Perseus. Star Mirfak. Alpha <laughs> Mirfak. <laughs> that's funny. But that's what it's called. Um, so the wisdom of the Herald is they thought they had you cornered. They were wrong. They said you had it coming. Also wrong. Each one of your adversaries fell by your own hand as you rose up and wielded a mighty sword. Go forth into battle and lay waste to those who would keep you from your purpose. Demons be damned. Take action. Right all wrongs and find your power. Okay. Wisdom of the dragons. When the going gets tough, shoot a fireball and watch it all burn. <laughs> That's not Aries advice. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's like Aries and Scorpio. Shoot a fireball and watch it all burn. It is time to work hard and play harder. All the energy you invest in your endeavors will be returned to you. Get going. Make the effort and you'll be victorious. Power up. So the message for both is get moving. If you want something, if you want to break free, now is the time to start your climb as you defeat all opponents and overcome obstacles. Stay focused and keep working hard, putting in that right effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is basically, you want something, you got to get up and go get it. That's very much Aries energy. Very, very, very much. So let's get started. Let's see. Let's start with the first set of the day. Let's see what's going to come up in today's collective. All right, so we start with the Two of Pentacles. With the Three of Cups. The Five of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Overall energy, Three of Swords. All right. Oh boy. So Three of Swords, Five of Cups. We're already we're already in a bad spot, huh? So we've got this Queen of Swords, who. This always, because in this deck, the Ace of Swords is presented as um, emerging from an egg. I feel like it's like she just discovered some truth. That's what this feels like. So this Queen of Swords just discovered some truth that has her in pain. Oh, this is very different from yesterday's collective. <laughs> but it's Mars and Scorpio energy, so let's just go with it. Um, it has her in pain. It has her feeling... The grief, sorrow, she's sad. Three of Cups, this could have been, and Two of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a couple of possibilities here. Either one, she realized that the person she loves um, has somebody else. They've been juggling her and someone else. Or two, um, maybe this is the fact that the person she loves only sees her as a friend. And they enjoy spending time with her, but it's not... Oh, it's not a serious commitment to them, right? Let's go ahead and get some clarification. <clears throat> Clarify the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Fool card. 
clarify three of cups nine of pentacles clarify five of cups I feel like it's the second storyline more than anything. The moon card. And clarify Queen of Swords. <clears throat> the sun. Okay. With the death card. Yeah. So I feel like this Queen of Swords is coming to the conclusion of, all right, somebody I care for, somebody that brings me a lot of happiness, that I have a lot of... Um, happy uh, joy from I take pleasure in their company they're a free spirit they want to be single they see me as a friend they enjoy their time with me with the moon card they may have given some mixed signals and here's here's my rule about mixed signals guys this comes after experience okay it's not because um I believe I'm a dating guru or anything like that if somebody's giving you mixed signals it's a no that's that's a simple if you don't want to complicate your life and you don't want to be sitting there in agony and on the edge of your seat all the time if somebody's giving you mixed signals it's a no and i feel like she finally stepped into, into that energy because with the death card it's like okay i have to let this go i have to let this go because the person i love only sees me as a friend or it doesn't even have to be she's in love with them it could be she's just interested in them and she's realizing they do not you know and that's okay. They don't see her in the same way and they're not obligated to, really. All right, next set. We've got the Sire of Souls. The Sire always makes me do my English accent. I'm sorry. But it's, it's the King of Swords. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good English accent either. Two of Cups. Ten of Wands. And the Five of Swords. Hmm. Overall energy, Queen of Pentacles. You know what's really interesting about this is that they're showing up as a, as a match, right? The King and Queen of Swords. They are showing up as a match. However, out of all the couples in the deck the king and queen of swords are an intellectual match they're not a heart match unless this is what made them fall in love but that's not what i'm seeing here um to this king they recognize that this queen is relationship material she is the type of woman you would settle down with if they were interested in a relationship but this king is the type of person that sees look at look at the way they're approaching love look at the body language like, I don't know, like they don't trust it. Love is something they don't trust. Ten of Wands, it feels like a lot of burden to them. They feel like, almost like if they accept a love offer, they've they've defeated themselves. They, they already lost just by accepting love. So this is probably somebody who's been hurt a lot. And they've just assumed that love in general is a terrible, false thing. Which, you know means they haven't healed but let's see clarify king of swords we've got the three of cups clarify two of cups the judgment clarify ten of wands Wheel of Fortune, and Clarify Five of Swords. Ten of Wands, again. Overall Energy, Daughter of Cups. So I feel like there is some connection here. Um, the King of Swords is showing up, like having a crush on her, let me put it that way. I don't know if he's in love, but he definitely has a crush on her. Um, intellectually, she can match him. And he knows that commitment-wise, she's a great investment. But he's still in the friend phase. He's still in the, um, well, I enjoy conversing with her. I enjoy spending time with her. Um, Jeez. 
judgment. This is funny because usually judgment indicates making a decision. But I feel like if anything, it's it's using the major arcana energy right now where they will make a decision about this. But major arcana may take three to six months to develop. They're not sure yet. Not that they're not sure about her. They're not sure about themselves. That's the thing. She's feeling down because maybe she feels like, well, they must not care about me that much. It's not that they don't care. They're worried that they might fail her. Not fail her like cheat on her, but they're worried. What if this connection fails and maybe it's better? <sighs> Sorry. Maybe it's better to remain friends because then, you know, we can just move on without this responsibility. The responsibility is what would defeat and crush the relationship, which isn't true. But, you know, when somebody's been hurt enough times and they haven't healed from it, they're still carrying that baggage. Then they're going to show up with a lot of Ten of Wands energy, right? Because they're always going to see um, commitment as pressure, as, you know, um, something that could destroy them, take things away from them. And that's because of their history. All right, next set. We've got, yep, Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. The Hermit. The Justice card. And the Eight of Pentacles. Overall energy. <laughs> The lovers, hmm, interesting. So the fact that the two of cups and the lovers is already shown up tells me that it is actually a mutual feeling, a mutual interest. The difference is that this king I feel like they're carrying a lot of baggage from their past still. <sighs> they're not in the place to accept. They're not in the place to accept this. This offer. Not yet. At least not at this point in the reading. Um, with the five of pentacles, they feel very almost like there's a fear that they're not good enough for her because I feel like this person, what they've done, and let's just be clear because this is a lesson to us all, right? I'm not sitting here trying to rag on the masculine, but sometimes when people hurt us, some of us do this thing where we feel because that person didn't want us, that there must be something wrong with us. So this King has put himself in this mentality of like, you know, the people that have hurt me, the people that have cheated on me, or backstab me or what it's because I wasn't good enough to hold on to them and that's not what happened right if somebody hurts you if somebody does things like that it usually has nothing to do with the person they're hurting it has to do with themselves where they're at but with the hermit this person has learned to isolate themselves to just um be very head over heart in connections so eight of pentacles means they're willing to invest time into her they're willing to spend time with her but Justice card means they, they need to feel very safe before they ever made an emotional move. And maybe it's too new. Maybe there's there's something here where they don't feel emotionally safe yet. The problem with that is, as reasonable as that sounds, right? Sometimes it could be that the lack of safety comes from how deeply they feel for someone and not because the queen is doing anything wrong. So let's see. Clarify Five of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Hermit. The Hanged Man. Clarify the Justice Cup. The Son of Wands. And clarify Eight of Pentacles. Mother of Wands. Hmm. Overall energy, eight of wands. <clears throat> so, 
Um, the fact that the Eight of Wands has this lightning strike tells me that this part of why this king is so worried is because I don't think he's felt emotions for people in a long time. Because he's come off as a king of swords, right? Very detached, very... Um, Sorry, I need a bad gum because I'm sleepy. Um, very head over heart, right? So it's come as a shock to him that he is developing feelings for this queen. In fact, so far, she's shown up as three different queens. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and now Queen of Wands. So she's definitely a pretty full package. I imagine she's going to come out as a Queen of Cups as well, um, which means that he's dealing with an Empress. So, of course, he developed feelings, right? Uh, Three of Pentacles at his core, because this is our foundation, right? Our foundation, and then we've got the Five of Pentacles at his core. The main issue is he doesn't feel good enough for her. That's the main issue. He may never recognize that because he's shown up with Knight of Wands energy, uh, maybe even cocky, um, a little arrogant, but at his core, it's feeling not good enough because let's be real people who are cocky and arrogant or not cocky but usually arrogance um indicates insecurity cocky can be playful you know doesn't even have to be real but this this is a core issue so he's sitting here examining things overthinking things is what it feels like when he already feels passion so with the justice card it's almost like he's trying to assess is what i feel only passion because maybe he's never felt this before and he's not sure what it is but he's like do i only feel passion because i know i know she's attractive she's charismatic she's interesting that's why it's easy to talk to her it's easy to spend time with her but is it more well we will find out, won't we? Let's see. Let's do the next set. Okay, so we've got the High Priestess. Oh, the Hierophant, which is also the High Priest. Judgment. Wow. And the Knight of Wands. Oh, interesting. So... King of Cups. <sighs> this is a spiritual connection. They're showing up as the 5D Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Honestly, the High Priestess can match either with the Magician or the Hierophant. In this case, they are the Hierophant. So this is a spiritual union. They're both... Um, the the um, connection between divinity and the material world and with judgment this this was decided lifetimes ago this was maybe decided even you know before their souls incarnated but because this contract was already predetermined right being around this queen gives this king a lot of feelings a lot of emotions and they're not sure they're ready to deal with that so with the Knight of Wands, they're like, oh, it's probably passion. That's what it is. I'm just really lusty. Um, they're not interpreting this as love. They're they're like, no, no, no. What's happened is I'm getting confused. It's passion. It's not emotions. That's what it is. So it's almost like they're trying to test if it's only passion or if it really is emotions. I don't know why I got the word test, but that's what I got. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess.
<laughs> Knight of Wands, Daughter of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Hierophant. Five of Cups. Clarify the Judgments. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Clarify Knight of Wands. Okay, we got ooh, Seven of Cups in Reverse, Father of Swords. Interesting. And if you notice, these cards are not reversed. So that's interesting that one just came out like that. Mother of Pentacles. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Remember when I said this is most likely an Empress, which means she's already at Divine Feminine, both in the 5D as in the 3D, okay? So being in Mother of Pentacles energy means that as this king already recognized, she is somebody that wants commitment. She is somebody that is actually very commitment oriented. Not only does she want commitment, she deserves it because of how loyal she is, how devoted she is, how nurturing and giving she is. But they're trying to build a foundation. They're trying to build a foundation off of flirting, off of friends with benefits possibly. And because it's showing up with her energy, with the high priestess, she knows this. She can feel it. It's also going to be a no. <laughs> and that's why the Five of Cups is here. This masculine is, is almost like he needs... <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh at this masculine. But it's almost like he needs to test out if it's only sex. And she's like, yeah, I'm not the type of person you're going to test sex out on. Um, and that, that makes him sad. <laughs> it makes him big sad. Um, and there's a sense of anxiety because I think maybe this is somebody who really thought he was going to be alone forever, right? So he is very sexually oriented. And this feminine not allowing him to connect sexually, usually he would just move on to the next person, right? But with her, he can't. And it's giving him anxiety. It's giving him like, what the fuck is this? Why am I not able to disconnect? What is this bullshit? <laughs> like, what is this sorcery? Um, because <laughs> he's not sure what's happening. He's trying to, he's trying to assess what's happening himself. But also, the Seven of Cups is in reverse with the Nine of Wands. So if before. he might have been a little bit of a player or he is because again this is where we're at right now but with the seven of cups in reverse if you notice all these other cups are turned down except one like now he's 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 focusing he's starting to focus on this queen this empress but it's making him freak out a little bit because First of all, he can't disconnect the way he normally can. Second of all, he can't test out if it's just sexual attraction. And so he's getting concerned that it's turning into feelings. And what if it's feelings and that's freaking him out? And third, what if he already ruined his chances? There's a piece of his like, what if because I approached her sexually, now she may not even want to explore anything else? Yep. Talk about talk about tough decisions but see that's why this i think comes out because this is he needs to conquer his fears he needs to conquer his need to be in control his need to you know people who are very promiscuous usually are coming from a place of wanting intimacy but afraid of commitment so they'll you know, do the in-between. Like, I can have intimacy with multiple people instead of just one. And they translate physical intimacy as the same thing as emotional intimacy when it's not. And I think this is one of them. This is one of these people. Next set. Five of Wands. <laughs> Ten of 
Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. Oh, we got an extra one. Okay. Hold up. So we've got the Eight of Cups. <laughs> I knew it. The Empress. I fucking knew it. Only the Empress would have this type of effect on a person. With the Sire of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh at this masculine, but look at the body language. He's hiding behind a tree. A King of Pentacles is hiding behind a tree. Oh, look at that. Because he's worried. He's like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> but he's peeking behind the tree like, but I want to. Look at that steam blowing out of his nostrils. Like, I got this. I want this. <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> a five of wands. This empress challenges this masculine. Because again. The Empress embodies divine feminine energy, right? But that doesn't mean she's a pushover, um, which means she's going to come across gentle. She's going to come across loving. She's going to come across uh, compassionate, nurturing, but very firm on her boundaries. And that's that's a little bit of a conundrum, right? It's, it's very, um, it's not common. And so with the five of wands she's challenging everything this masculine knows about his knowledge of feminine energy with the ten of swords it's almost like she's putting a cycle to who he used to be i mean an end she's putting an end to the cycle of who he used to be because with the ten of cups this is the king and queen of cups here with their little children it's like he can imagine he can imagine building a family with her however to be able to do that he needs to walk away from everything. Like he needs to, to rise, right? To a different level. Because Eight of Cups is walking away from a materialistic point of view of life and moving towards a more spiritual perspective towards her. So it's like, if I want her, I have to commit. If I want to be anywhere near her, I have to think about serious things because that's the only way she'll move forward. Clarify Five of Wands. So we've got the Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Clarify Ten of Swords. Ooh. Okay, that we're not taking. Look at all this. That's like ten cards. No. Ten of Wands. Clarify Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. Clarify Eight of Cups. It's a lot of cups. Five of Swords. Clarify the Empress. Hmm. Okay. Houston, we've got a problem. I want to take a wild guess what that problem is. Ego. That's what the problem is. <laughs> and it shows up here twice. The three and the two of swords with the five of swords. That's the five of swords twice. Their ego is in the way. So, six of pentacles, four of swords with the five of wands. She does challenge what they know of feminine energy because with the Six of Pentacles, that's the Taurus Moon energy, which means, first of all, they feel comfortable with her. They feel safe with her. Second of all, she's the type of feminine energy that is very giving. Almost like maybe they were used to being around feminine energy that just took, and she's an equal give and taker. Like she'll, she'll receive, but she'll give as well. And it almost makes them feel soothed calm uh even though she challenges them it's in a very gentle nature so it's not like she's like aggressive she's just changing their point of view it's challenging their mentality um ten of wands with the ten of swords putting an end to their past self feels like i don't know if i can do that like it's happening naturally but it's already putting pressure on this person because that's all they've known. Maybe they've been this way for years. And change is on the horizon. 
we have eight, nine, and ten cups here. That's a lot of cups. <laughs> it's a lot of emotion. Uh, now the ten of cups becomes what they wish, becomes what they look forward to. Like the idea of building a family with her starts becoming like a pleasure to think of. And that's also freaking them out. Because with the Five of Swords, which had already come out, and here it is again, twice. Remember when I said this person's got baggage? The baggage is there. They haven't healed from previous connections. They just, what they did, instead of healing the pain, what they did was carry it with them so that they would never forget because it, it made such an impact on them. This is what's interesting. They think that by carrying this pain with them, they'll never allow it to happen to them again, right? They'll always remember what happened. But in reality, what that did was it gave whoever hurt them so much power over them that it defined their whole lives. And now this hurt is coming to the surface again because they've got to decide if they're going to trust this queen, this empress, if they're going to treat her differently or they're going to assume that she's just like the past. Because of the Five of Swords, walking away from the lifestyle that they've built would be like almost like they're saying, but that would mean she wins. The Empress wins. But there's no competition, though. Who are they competing against when they say she wins? Because to them, they're interpreting love as a power play. As in, if I change for her, that means she won. She won up to me when that's not what's happening. With the Two of Swords, the Empress is holding back only because she's not going to invest in someone that's not investing in her seriously. And the way they see it is like, well, this is, if I change, that means I'm meeting her demands, so I lose. <sighs> I don't know that you lose with an Empress, but that's, they're, they're not approaching things in an Emperor way, right? They're approaching things in a, I don't know, in a very different perspective. It's not it's not from a confident masculine energy. It's from a very insecure, wounded energy. Sorry guys about the straight lines today. They are not very straight, but let's keep going. Otherwise it takes me forever to organize them. Let's finish the last row with the last three before I move on to the next one. Next row, we've got the chariot. Seven of Cups. And the Four of Swords. Overall energy, temperance. Hmm. So this actually indicates several things to me. One, it indicates the fact that they're very determined to keep their lifestyle the way it is. So remember when I said all their options, they only see the, the Empress? So what they're going to do now with the Seven of Cups is they're going to bring in more options so that they don't feel limited by the Empress. With the Four of Swords, they don't want to take action right now. They're, they're trying to soothe um, the strong emotions that are coming up for this Empress. They're trying to soothe it by bringing in other people. The other side of this is... They're having to show a lot of determination because she's turning into a big temptation for them. They think of her all the time, which is why they're trying to bring in other options because they don't want to be daydreaming about her. It, It's why they're like, no, 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 focus, focus. You've got goals. You've got goals. But just being near her is also healing a lot of that baggage they were carrying with them. So before you know it, they're exchanging energy with her. They're creating a bond with her, a link, even if they don't want to recognize it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Clarify the chariot. Nine of cups. Clarify seven of cups. Strength and three of cups. Clarify four of swords. The devil. <laughs> Overall energy, dun 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 dun, the tower. <laughs> so, <laughs> I 
like you know which song is coming to mind with the tower the the miley cyrus i came in like a wrecking ball <laughs> it's like this empress just came in and boom um this person's world is turning upside down without it's not obviously empress's intention but an empress can't walk into somebody's life without without the earth shaking a little bit so nine of cups <sighs> they really want to stay single they're trying to focus they're trying to be like focus dude focus you've got a good life you've got this you've got that you don't need to be focusing on one person but even when they do bring in like again this has two different meanings they're bringing in other people because they're trying to have options right with the strength card it's because they're trying to hold back from the empress they're trying to not focus on her so they're trying to create, you know, more connections, more, you know, more conversation partners. The irony about this, though, <laughs> this is the best part. This is what's so awesome about being Empress Energy. The more that they talk to other people, the stronger the feelings for her grow because they realize how unique she is. They realize, like, they can talk, for example, to a Queen of Wands, but the Empress is Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying? So they can talk to other queens, but there's only one Empress, at least in this person's life, because Empresses are difficult to come by. They're not common. Empresses are rare. They're like diamonds. Well, diamonds aren't pretty rare. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have to think of a more rare stone. <laughs> they are like Moldavite. Let's put it that way. They're like Moldavite. You don't find them everywhere. They're, they're very rare. You have to make sure they're the genuine thing. And this one's the genuine, real McCoy. So the more that they bring in other people, the more it strengthens actually their feelings for the Empress because the more they realize how irreplaceable she is. But with the devil energy, it's almost like, I know it represents, this has fire, but to me, this is like the opposite. It's almost like, they are gluing their feet, their hooves to the earth so that they don't move towards her. They're trying their best to stay passive, to not to not make overtures to her. Because here's the thing. It's almost like they're trying to avoid moving forward because one, they feel like if they're the ones that make the first move, as in giving signs of romantic inclination, they lose. Like it's a power play, right? Second of all... um they don't want to take responsibility for making the first move because I feel like this, the type of person that if things go wrong, they'll later on, you know, maybe they don't always behave in the most mature way later on. They'll use that and say, well, I wasn't the one that approached you. You're the one that approached me, you know, that type of energy. So it's, it's definitely shaking them up because the Empress is making no move towards them. The Empress think about it. An Empress as rare as they are, why would they have to, be begging somebody to give them attention or time. That's not, that's not who she is. She very much understands her worth. So let's move on to the next set. Oh, these are all messed up. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Okay, so we've got the Page of Cups. Three of Wands. The Six of Swords. <laughs> and the King of Wands. <sighs> All right. With the Four of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're trying hard. They're trying so hard to stay disconnected from her. Hold on, let me drink some water. They're trying very hard to keep to themselves their emotions, their feelings, um, their passion. Because that passion, um, what is it? Which song is it? The. Oh man, there's a song that says something about that, doesn't it? That says the passion just keeps rising or the heat rising. Isn't that the song from Greece? You're the one that I want. 
I don't know. I'm wrong. I, I'm, I could be wrong. But anyways, so that's what I'm feeling here. A strong need to hold all this back because now they're getting into King of Wands mode. Remember, they started off as King of Swords. A little harsh, aloof, distant, cold. They felt the King of Wands later on. I mean, King of Cups, but they've been they've been pretty steady at holding back. Then they start feeling the King of Pentacles, and now they're at the King of Wands. So actually, this person has emperor potential. They're not behaving like an emperor, which makes me think that coming into contact with this empress, it's what's bringing to life their emperor energy. And what I mean by that is, let's say this person, because they are showing up as King of Wands, which means there's someone who's very attractive, uh, very charming, very, uh, they've got it going on. They're, they're a good, you know, this person is easy to fall in love with. So somebody like this in masculine form means that they actually don't even have to lift a finger. They don't have to do much for women to flock to them. Uh, this is the type of guy or, or man that women come up to him and give him their number. They hit on him. He doesn't really have to do anything. Unfortunately, it's made him step into the feminine role because the feminine role is that of receiving. The empress is the one that stands still and people come to her. So it's not because ego or pride, it's because it's passive energy. Feminine energy is passive. It's masculine, the one that is the conqueror, right? So being around her makes has made them realize that they've been in, in feminine energy because she's awakening in them because that's exactly what feminine energy does, right? She's awakening in them the desire to pursue, the desire to almost like hunt, if that makes sense. Um, it's very primal. That's the only reason I'm, I'm say, using those words. So, Page of Cups. <sighs> the emotion feels... It's almost like, you know, he goes from extreme to another because there's the feeling of like, no, it's a power play to go into the page of cups. It's like, no, this is the most innocent connection I've ever been in. This is the most beautiful connection. With the three of wands, there's an energy of waiting, holding back. But with six of swords and the king of wands, that the impatience is getting to them. Um... Because they can already tell she's not going to make one damn move. <laughs> it's not happening. Um, so it's like this this passion that started off as a knight has gotten to king status. They I don't think they'll be able to hold it back much longer. Let's see. Let's clarify a page of cups. Clarify a page of cups. We've got the chariot. Clarify three of wands. Six of wands. Clarify six of swords. Ooh, seven of wands. We're not taking all these. Clarify king of wands. Three of Cups. <laughs> well, unfortunately, and I'm going to say unfortunately because it doesn't have to be this way. But this is turning into a battle of wills. Um, because they don't want to change. They don't want to leave their comfort zone. And the Empress is not the type of energy that you can... That you can um, push into doing things that she doesn't want to do. So running after a masculine is not something she'd want to do, basically. Which means this is most likely not going to go anywhere, um, sadly. Because they're, they're sitting here like, no. Like, they feel like if they do this, they're giving away their power, which they're not. But... Again, this person, I feel like this person, although they have the potential to be an emperor, this is why they're not. They're seeing love in a very distorted light. They're seeing it as a, a game of power when that's not what love is. Each, each energy has its role, 
right? So, anywho. Um, so they feel like they have to stand in their strength, even though that's not what strength is, but this is the way they interpret strength. So, with the chariot, they're going to be like, okay, you know what? It was just a crush. That's what it is. It's a crush. I need to just move forward. I need to let this go. Um, I'll wait. And then if she ever moves forward, okay, great. We have victory, you know? But I need to stand my ground. With the Six of Swords, they may try to even travel. Like to physically get away from her. <laughs> because it's getting harder and harder. Um, what's that song again? It's getting harder and harder to breathe. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, whew, it's, it's, it's getting intense. And they are adamant. And I mean stubborn as fuck. That this will remain a friendship until she makes a move. But that's why they're not showing up as an emperor. They have the potential to be an emperor. But they're really not showing up as one. Because an emperor doesn't need to be coaxed to make a move. An emperor sees something they want and they go after it. They they are already very comfortable in their masculine energy. And just like the empress has a lot of options, the emperor would too, but the emperor doesn't, like the empress, they don't entertain options that aren't at their level, right? They can have a lot of pages, knights, queens, kings running after them, and they're not going to pursue that because they want someone that's at their level. They won't build unless they have potential. Okay, this one came out first. Page of Swords. The Six of Cups. The Two of Wands. The Eight of Wands. <laughs> With the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> so. <sighs> yeah, I keep getting that, uh, the chorus of that song uh, playing over and over into my head of, it's getting harder and harder to breathe. <laughs> I feel like this person is almost suffocating themselves um, because this, this giant swell of emotion, passion is trying to be tamped down and it's it's getting harder for them. With the Ace of Cups, it's almost like, like before, I feel like they hid their emotions in this little shell right they hid their emotions and now it's 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 being revealed because they can't they're having a really difficult time fighting their emotions because at the page of swords i feel like they're really curious about this empress so if she has a social media they're going to be following her social media they may be interacting with her or maybe not but this page of swords is mostly collecting information they're collecting data on her and of course the more data they collect on her with the six of cups the more they just confirm that she's actually their soulmate, that she's actually their match. And with the two of wands, they start, you know what? They're changing their tune. They're like, you know what? Two of wands. Okay, let's let's make plans. Let's make plans because this this dragon, <laughs> like, you know, the, the little piggies, this piggy goes to market. Now this piggy, this dragon goes to the empress. That's what it does. <laughs> So with the two of wands, there's a plan for this dragon going to the empress because now there's action. Eight of wands because they can't hold it back anymore. Eight of wands means the intensity is rising and rising and rising. And now we've got 10 wands here. Instead of feeling the pressure of what would it be like to be in a committed relationship? Now the pressure is like, why isn't she saying anything? Do I have to say something? I have to say something because I don't want her to get away. That type of energy. Clarify page of swords. And this is exactly how you know she is an empress. Page of Swords gives the Two of Wands again. Because feminine energy, true divine feminine energy, clarify Six of Cups, um, inspires the masculine to move. Inspires the masculine to step into their masculine energy. The Fool, uh, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. Because they see her value. Clarify Two of Wands. They see her as irreplaceable. They see her as a motherfucking star. Clarify Eight of Wands. Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, and look at what's beneath here. Queen of Wands again. <laughs> yep. Judgment, like I said. Remember when the Judgment card was clarifying um, 
the two of cups like they were in the process of making a decision well a decision has been made my dear i feel like this king is in the point where he's like now damn those demons i'm uh, damn the fears i'm going to move forward and and put some effort into this exactly that is how you get an empress lack of effort will never get you an empress two of wands they've been watching her because again this goes with that two of wands right they've been watching her and collecting information because they're planning how to approach her which <laughs> is kind of cute um they want to make sure they don't miss their shot with the fool they're gonna take a leap of faith because like i said this is their soulmate they feel they feel she's already changing them that's why the butterflies there she's changing their perception of things she's changing them without even her trying just being near her is elevating them they want to fight for this they want to defend this they want to um you know they want to battle their own inner demons to be able to feel strong enough to approach her they don't want to sit there missing out on this opportunity because she's a star she's she's not the usual run-of-the-mill woman with the ten of cups and the queen of wands the more time passes especially because you know queen of wands again they see her more and more attractive and it's like no no, no. this is this is my empress um this is going to be the person I build a family with. I'm not going to let her get away. That's how you know if someone really sees you as an empress. If you have to be persuading someone of your value, they don't see you as an empress. Because somebody that sees you as an empress, you don't need to persuade them. They already know. Last set. Two of Swords. Ace of Cups again. Three of Swords. And the Seven of Wands. See? This is exactly what I was saying. With the Three of Pentacles. You know what has persuaded them to make a move? They're making a move because uh, with Three of Pentacles, they're deciding they have to create some sort of um, foundation with her. They have to start building with her because if they don't, now a different Five of Swords will emerge. Which means if they keep delaying, right, if they keep hiding from this decision, their intuition tells them that somebody else will come along because she's so valuable. She's so rare. She's not just any woman. And they're sitting here like, I have to defend this. I have to fight for this because if I don't, I'm going to end up heartbroken. I'm going to end up defeated by somebody else coming in willing to do the work. I've, I've got to do the work. So they're stepping up because they don't want to lose her. Let's see. Clarify Two of Swords. of pentacles <laughs> see clarify ace of cups mother of pentacles clarify three of swords the fool card and clarify seven of wands five of wands yep <laughs> there we go the emperor that is emperor shit. That is how you know a masculine is learning to step up into emperor mode. Those are also rare. Not all masculine men are emperors. They can be, but they choose not to be because it requires a lot of work. It requires a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment to growth, and not everybody has that. So, two of pentacles. That's why the butterfly, right? They've decided I've, I've got to change. I can't be the same person I've always been. Because maybe that worked with other people, with other women, but she's not just any woman. It won't work on her. It doesn't matter what game I play. It will. I can't run game on her. Mother of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. They know her value. They see her as fully worth the investment. And they've got to take a leap of faith. Otherwise, they'll be the ones ending up with heartbreak. With the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands. 
this is again them stepping up to the challenge. There's a realization of, I can't just not do anything. I have to make a move because if I don't, I, I won't ever be near her. I need to build the foundation now. I need to fight for what I want. So I'm stepping up to the challenge and making an effort. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we have time for one more row. Next row. Oh yeah. <laughs> the death card. Oh yeah. Next row. The Nine of Cups. The Tower. <laughs> and the Queen of Wands. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Always cracks me up, him hiding behind that tree. Okay. So, Death card with the Nine of Cups. The single life is over for this emperor um and he's okay with that it, it came as a shock to them that they want to settle down they want to be with her they this is their match on every level they don't want to lose her clarify death card so they're willing to transform look at that another lightning strike <laughs> they're willing to change and they're not they're not sitting here um ace of pentacles they're not sitting here arguing about it either. They're like, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I got you. Okay. Got it. Got it. They're moving forward because they want to offer her something stable. Clarify Queen of Wands. Yeah. Look at that. They want to offer her something stable because this is their soulmate. They want to grow deep roots with her. They want to build with her. They want to give her a stable offer. They don't want to be single anymore. Because they feel like this is divine timing. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. If I don't make a move, I'm going to lose her forever. So I want to build something with her. I want her to fall in love with me. I want a family with her. I don't want this opportunity of, of being with such a wonderful person to pass me by. Now that is emperor shit. Which is why they're showing up at the King of Pentacles. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to end part one here. And those of you who have already paid the subscription, I will see you on the other side. Bye-bye.